perks. So let's get into the weapons now. I'm going to try to cut this sh uh, make this as short as possible. Um, here we have the my stuff that I wear. Um, patrolman sunglasses, military, Min Minutemen General's uniform, which you can get by doing the Minutemen quest line, uh, and the military cap. So that's just, I just like this uniform, that's why I wear it, instead of wearing like, you know, the five pieces of armor with a under suit or whatever. Um, for my gun, this is basically the only gun that you're ever going to need right here. And this is the only gun that I use, and it's just a silent sniper rifle, really. I would suggest getting a shotgun. The shotgun I got was just retardedly overpowered. I'll show you that real quick. Um, this thing right here is just retardedly overpowered. This wound, if you get, if you find a shotgun with the prefix wounding, fucking get that instantly. This thing is retardedly overpowered. It kills legendary enemies in two or three hits. It kills, the, it killed the Myler Queen so quickly. This thing is incredibly powerful, especially with the mods I put on it absolutely get this gun i don't know how i was so lucky to get this thing but it just destroys everything so absolutely get this gun if you can find it um it's a, i got it as a legendary drop so i mean there's no guarantees that you'll find it but if you can absolutely get this gun so that's the that's pretty much my secondary i also have uh these two things really and this revolver but uh other than that Mainly everything you're, you're never going to need to use those. Mainly you're just going to be using this for 90% of enemies. This is this will do just fine. Um, this is a sniper rifle. Obviously, this is fully modded out. Everything is the top tier that I can get, except for the magazine and the scope, um, because I don't I don't I don't really want a super long range scope. I like the medium scope. Um, and it starts off as a 308. Obviously, this was a basic hunting rifle when it started. Uh, but it had, I was lucky enough to get this as a legendary drop with the prefix death incarnate as, er, my bad, with the prefix with the double damage at full health. Um, I named it death incarnate. Um, basically I changed it from a 308 receiver to a 50 caliber receiver for the extra damage, hugely extra damage, very powerful. However, this thing, like I said, is legendary drop, so it's not a guarantee, so I'm going to explain how to get that if you can't get this as a drop because it's completely random. Um, but if you can get this, absolutely just upgrade it fully like I have because it is retardedly overpowered. Um, it's awesome. I love it. I'm playing on hard difficulty as well, uh, by the way. Anyway, uh, let's. I'm going to explain how to get this if you... how to get a sniper that is almost as good uh, if you can't get this to drop, which... I don't, I mean, it's completely random, so I was just lucky. Basically, uh, there's going to be a quest line that you can get pretty early on by going to Diamond City uh, called Follow the Freedom Trail. And if you do that quest, you will, uh, you're eventually going to find a vendor. And in, you're going to meet a group of people and you're going to find a vendor through that group of people. I'm uh, trying not to spoil anything. And basically, you will, uh, he has a unique gun in his selling inventory or whatever that he's trying to sell um, that you can buy off of him. And I don't know how expensive it is because I just decided not to buy it because I already have this one that's a little bit better. But it basically increases your VAT's chance to hit, which is really good because it's very hard to hit headshots and VAT's on this game for some reason. So that's a really good perk to ha have on a sniper um, to get those headshots. Um, and it comes with a suppressor built in. The suppressor is a rank 3 gun mod. So this one that I got didn't have a suppressor. So I had to wait till uh, level 25 to put a suppressor on it. However, you can get that, I imagine, as early as like level however you want. Really, you just need the taps to buy it. Um, so that's one way to get a suppressor on your sniper. Um, I don't want to spoil too much, but you'll follow the Freedom Trail. You'll find a group of people. There's going to be a vendor there. The vendor has a sniper with a suppressor on it already. It's unique, and I believe it's vast enhanced. I could be wrong about that, but I remember the. I wish I had bought it now, but uh, I didn't want. I didn't want to waste the caps on something I wasn't going to use anyway. So um, it's very good, though. It has a very good uh, special ability, and then you just want to upgrade that, like I did. Put the 50 caliber rounds into it, and uh, just at a lot of chances you get. Um, basically, you're not going to be able to put 50 caliber receiver on it because it's just going to be a waste of money for a very long time until you get enough 50 caliber bullets like as you can see I have 432 uh, 33 I don't know if I'm retarded at math but I have 433 uh, 
50 caliber rounds now, but before, if I had done this much before now, I would have had like 80 rounds for it and it would have just been useless. So absolutely just buy some whenever you can. That's just going to be the basic build for this guys. I tried not to make this too long, but I kind of had to get lots of explaining in there. And my companion's Piper, doesn't really matter what your companion is. Um, for right now, I, we don't, I don't know which companion is best for sneaking at this juncture. But I'll probably do an updated build on this, maybe a thievery style build. And maybe once the game has been out for much longer and we kind of know which characters are good, or which companions are good with which, I perfect this build. So I, I really like playing this style, so I'll probably make another character just like this. Um, and try out stuff like Idiot Savant and other stuff. So that's just this build for now. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm sorry that it's really long, but you know, you kind of have to go in depth when you're doing a build guide for a video game. So thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And please subscribe for more Fallout 4 builds, content, uh, whatever.